Is polydynamic stage turquoise, the global holistic stage. Often at stage turquoise, you transcend the self, the ego, and the mind. You go from thinking to being. You experience insights instead of thinking and figuring out solutions. You don't really think your way into understanding. At stage turquoise, you often work with a community in order to maximize consciousness, love, and well-being in the world, both for people, animals, and the environment. So, when does stage turquoise emerge? Collectively, we're many, many centuries, if not millennia, away from a stage turquoise society. But when does it emerge individually? It emerges when you realize that there's more to life than thinking, more to life than you, more to life than mind stuff. It often emerges when you let go of yourself, your ego, or what you think is you, otherwise known as enlightenment, though you don't necessarily have to be enlightened to be at stage turquoise. Contemplation and mystical experiences can also make you evolve to stage turquoise, but again, having mystical experiences doesn't automatically make you stage turquoise. There's a lot of people at stage orange and green that have had a couple mystical experiences that now think they're at stage turquoise. Many people build this spiritual ego and think they're better than everybody because they've had these experiences. But stage turquoise is beyond that. Stage turquoise is beyond survival. At stage turquoise you don't focus on yourself. Because they're so similar, stage green and stage turquoise are often confused. Stage orange might even think stage turquoise is the same as stage blue. Here's the differences. Stage blue is rooted in belief, whereas stage turquoise has actually experienced what he's talking about. And now a lot of people at stage green like to think they're at stage turquoise. So here's the difference. Stage turquoise is a tier 2 stage, so it understands the lower stages. It understands that they're necessary and they have a purpose. Whereas stage green might think that everyone should think like me, everyone should be vegan, everyone should be this and that. Because at stage green you feel like your belief system is superior. But at stage turquoise you recognize that there are different belief systems different perspectives, and they all have some truth to them. And because stage turquoise recognizes that there are different perspectives, stage turquoise doesn't demonize other people. Whereas stage green gets triggered by injustice and holds very strong sides, be it political or otherwise. Also, stage green holds a lot of beliefs, for example about reincarnation, crystals, the soul, etc. Even if stage green wouldn't have experienced them himself. Stage turquoise has a lot more serious spirituality, serious meditation and contemplation, metaphysical insights and mystical experiences, whereas stage green focuses on going to yoga retreats, dealing with Trauma, meditating for health benefits, eating healthier food. Stage green spirituality is a lot more surface level than stage turquoise. Now let's begin with the characteristics of stage turquoise. Stage turquoise wants to elevate the consciousness and well-being of people, often starting communities and foundations to do that, making sure people get their basic needs met, protecting nature, as well as spreading mystical wisdom. Next, stage turquoise is very wise. Stage turquoise has had mystical experiences that have led to more understanding of the world. Stage turquoise is even better than stage yellow at seeing interconnectedness between things. Stage turquoise also unifies different systems, for example belief systems, religion and science, right or left brain, eastern and western thought. And instead of recycling information like a lot of people do at lower stages, at stage turquoise you generate your own new insights. Next, stage turquoise has insane amounts of emotional mastery. You heard a story about a guy who was getting a root canal extract, one of the most painful procedures in dentistry, without any anesthetics, and he was smiling and flirting with his dentist the whole time. That's the kind of emotional mastery that stage turquoise has. At stage turquoise, you're happy even when you're in immense pain. For example, when you're getting a root canal extract, or even when you're being tortured. Stage turquoise can be happy. Stage turquoise is also extremely humble and lighthearted. They don't want to brag about anything and don't want to seem better than anyone else. And lastly, stage turquoise is mystical. Stage turquoise has often transcended the self, or in other words, reached enlightenment, or at least had multiple mystical experiences. Sense of self for stage turquoise isn't this body and this mind anymore. Stage turquoise is everything around him as himself. All people and all things are seen as himself by stage turquoise. Imagine you're in a dream. All the things there and all the characters are you, right? So what if this was a dream? That's how stage turquoise operates. Stage turquoise also has a heightened awareness, and so also heightened senses, or even completely new senses. Stage turquoise can have paranormal abilities, which really we only call paranormal because they're not normal for us. Where stage turquoise, clairvoyance, mind reading and all of that can be seen as normal. Now, what does stage turquoise value? Stage turquoise values mysticism, spirituality, and non-duality. Or the idea that everything is one. That everything is infinite and nothing at the same time. And it's all one thing. Stage turquoise values consciousness, awareness, and love. Especially unconditional love. Mindfulness, awakening, liberation, and enlightenment. Truth and insight. Metaphysics, and especially metaphysical insights. Intuition. Humility. Minimalism and simplicity. Honesty and compassion. Being and experiencing instead of thinking, doing, knowing, or having. Human wellness, and also the wellness of nature, that's a big one. Healing on all planes, physical, mental, and spiritual. Meditation, yoga, and contemplation. Now again, the best part of the video, the examples. 
First, we have some people at stage turquoise. We have gurus, sages, and mystics, prophets like Jesus and Buddha. Do you have to remember the surrounding beliefs of that time were very crude by our standards at stage blue, stage red, and even stage purple, so they've absorbed some of that as well. Then we have Eckhart Tolle, Muji, Sadhguru. Next, we have David R. Hawkins, Alan Watts, Shinsen Young, who made the Do Nothing meditation technique. We have Ken Wilber. And my favorite examples are Master Uruguay and Master Yoda. Then we have some behaviors at stage turquoise. We have meditation, contemplation, and self-inquiry. Taking psychedelics like psilocybin and DMT and using them as tools to understand the world better and have mystical experiences. Using psychedelics in a party setting or to have fun, that's pure stage orange. Maybe a tad bit green too. And lastly, we have yoga. Not the kind that you use as exercise or to be more stretchy, but the spiritual kind, the meditative kind. Then some ideas at stage turquoise. We have non-duality, the idea that everything is one and consciousness, God as infinity, nothing and everything, as well as the field of transpersonal psychology. Those are examples of stage turquoise. Where can you find stage turquoise? Only about 0.01% of the global population is at stage turquoise. And stage turquoise has less than 1% of the world influence. In terms of places, you can't find stage turquoise in politics, in business, in universities, or in popular media, with some exceptions. Stage turquoise is most often rejected by the modern world, labeled as crazy or pseudoscience, which leads to people at stage turquoise starting their own communities. And that's where you can most often find them. Now what triggers stage turquoise? Stage turquoise is triggered by even less than stage yellow, because stage turquoise has such a high level of emotional mastery, as well as understanding the different stages. The ignorance of the world, how unsustainable everything is, as well as dogma, be it religious or scientific, or materialistic corruption, can frustrate stage turquoise. The suffering of the world in general frustrates stage turquoise. And even mundane or petty things like having to deal with bureaucracy and day-to-day -day problems can be irritating to stage turquoise, because stage turquoise would much rather be dealing with the existential problems and helping people than their car breaking down, or something like that. Now what are some issues with stage turquoise? Turquoise is often too mystical and spiritual. At stage turquoise you don't really care that much for earthly problems. Many mystics even go to caves and meditate until they starve to death, but then you can't really have an impact on the world. Also spiritual truths might be self-evident for stage turquoise who's actually experienced them, so they can talk about them to people who haven't in too simplistic terms. When you ask someone at stage turquoise, how do you become enlightened, they might just reply, well you're already enlightened. But that doesn't help anything. Next, this is an issue that many stage turquoise people have. They develop a guru complex. A lot of people at the lower stages, for example stage green and stage blue, start worshipping someone at stage turquoise, which can boost their spiritual ego, make them think they're better than everyone, and can even lead to corruption when their followers can give them money, sex, etc. This is what happens to a lot of these gurus. They get tempted by all the power, which leads to corruption. Again, they're humans, so they have human psychology and human problems, even if they were enlightened. You have to remember that stage turquoise isn't perfect. It's not the best stage. Really there's no best stage. There's always more room for growth. There's always issues to solve, no matter what stage you're at. So don't worship stage turquoise. Though it is helpful to aspire to become turquoise, you shouldn't worship them. So, how do you transcend stage turquoise? Like I said, stage turquoise isn't the final stage. We still have stage corp, though there are no records of anyone actually achieving that, so who knows. But to get there, likely you have to master all the stages below, you have to continue meditating and contemplating, and ultimately you have to transcend the model. This was the last video in my Spaldramic series. I hope you enjoyed them and got something out of them. Other than that, that's all.